Very well. So I have four instrument tracks that I have created and assigned four different sounds. Drums, synth pad, bass, and piano. And now I'm going to record MIDI data into these tracks. And to do that, the first thing I want to do is to select the MIDI track in which I'm going to record. I'm going to start by the drums. Notice that I have selected the drum track and it's record enabled. The MIDI data is coming from my external MIDI keyboard. I'm going to press record here in the transport section and you will hear Logic's click, the metronome that is going to give you the time for you to record to. Let's just press it first without recording anything. By default, Logic will give you one bar of a count off before you start playing. However, I noticed that this tempo was a little bit too fast for what I want to put together. So I'm going to make the tempo of my session slower. So if we check here in the transport section where it says 120, that's Logic's default tempo. I'm going to double click there and set it to a slower tempo, how about 94. So now I'm ready to go. Rewind to start recording. Hit record and start playing my keyboard. So I recorded here a clip or a region of MIDI data. It's not the greatest beat you ever heard, but I'm going to show you a couple of tricks so we can make it sound really good. Let's just play it back as it is. Now I might want to um, do a layer of drum sounds so I'm going to do a second recording using some hi-hats or cymbals sounds. I'm going to record in the same track and notice that I'm going to add MIDI data to whatever I recorded before. I'm not going to erase whatever I did before. So here we go. Record again from the same spot, this time using some other drum sounds. Alright, so now I have actually two MIDI regions. You can see if I click and move one of these either to another track or, or somewhere else in the timeline, they're separated. Take one, take two. I want to put these two together. So this is what I'm going to do. Just temporarily I'm going to put this clip on another track, so I can click and drag to select them at the same time. Once the two regions are selected, I'm going to merge them together by pressing the equal button in my keyboard. So now all of the MIDI data is together here. Mind that it's not in the correct track, so I move it back to the drum track and play it back. still sounding very sloppy, so I'm going to apply some quantization to it. Quantization is a MIDI function that will accommodate my notes closer to a grid and it's going to sound much tighter. We can quantize entire regions or we can quantize individual notes. For now we're going to stick to quantizing an individual region. So I select my region and here you have all of these regions parameters. 
you can see here the first one is quantized, it's the one that we want. It's off, meaning that whatever I record there, it's the way that it's sounding, you know, a little bit sloppy, not the greatest um, group that you heard. Let's see if we can make it any better. Let's hear before and after quantization. Now let's quantize this region by 16 notes. You will see that the MIDI notes inside my MIDI region are going to move slightly. All right, let's see what we got now. Nice and tight. Let's try different types of quantization. I can quantize with swing. For example, here, Logic has all of these quantization resolutions that are great. Let's try 16 notes on swing type D. The notes move a little bit again. Let's play it. I'm sure you can hear the difference of that bouncy feel that the swing added to my group. So now I have a decent drum groove. I want to resize my region. As you can see, this last bar here doesn't contain any type of notes. So to do that, I can just bring my mouse to the lower corner of the region. And you can see the trim tool right there. So I'm going to trim this back right there. So I have a four bar region and if I wanted to loop this continuously I just have to press the L key. Now that region is looped. Okay. Now I'm going to record some bass. And it's going to be the same principle. Just hit record, play, quantize if necessary. Let me just try the sound first. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so that worked more or less all right. I'm going to resize here my region and quantize it. I'm going to apply the same type of quantization, 16 notes D swing. Let's hear it. Let's continue with a little bit of piano. Select my piano track, hit record. I might want to wait a little bit, have some sort of introduction before I want to start playing. Let's hit record. So now I have a little bit of a piano part. Might want to do the same, quantize it to the same parameter, and listen back.
I hope by now you're getting a feeling of how to start layering instruments in Logic. It's easy and it's fun as well.